Corbus provides several views into the transportation model of the Roman world. The most familiar can be found in the Mapping Orbis tab and is the default page that opens when you click that tab. This is a route finding interface for the model, similar to that found when you search for directions on Google Maps. There are quite a few options available for generating routes in the network. The first and most straightforward are your choices for the start and destination sites. We'll keep our start site at Rome. We'll change our destination site to Taliata in modern day Serbia. Once you're satisfied with your choices, click Calculate Route and you will see the results. In this case, we can see the fastest route from Rome to Taliata in January, which takes almost 30 days, crossing first the Italian peninsula and then the Adriatic. We can change the month of travel, which isn't going to make much of a difference for this route, so first let's change our destination from Taliata to Londinium, modern day London. Now let's see the fastest route from Rome to London in January. And if we change the month to February, we can see that the path changes. Changing the month to July shows yet another change. This is because variations in wind patterns and sea conditions restrict the possibilities for sea travel in such a way as to make for three distinctly different fastest routes, depending on the time of year. To examine the differences between these routes, click on the Results Grid. The Results Grid gives you a list of the routes that you've generated in this session. You can compare differences in settings, cost, and duration. Clicking on a row will highlight the route on the map. Similarly, clicking on the route on the map will highlight the row. If you want, you can export the routes you've generated into KML and display them in Google Earth or you can export the routes as a comma delimited file suitable for viewing in a spreadsheet such as Numbers or Excel. Let's close the grid and clear our results before moving on. This is accomplished by clicking the Reset Options button. Now select Roma from the start location and Taliata for your destination and January for your month. Click Calculate Route. Again, we see the fastest path from Rome to Taliata, but this is not necessarily the only least cost path. Change the priority from fastest to cheapest. Now click Calculate Route. Here we see a new route with a very different path. This is because the least expensive route, what we refer to as the cheapest, is going to favor sea and river transportation. These are not the only two least cost paths. Select Shortest from the Priority List. Now click Calculate Route. Notice that the shortest path, which is to say the path between two sites with the least distance measured in kilometers, is neither the fastest nor the cheapest. Again we can see these paths in the Results Grid and compare the difference. Along with your settings, the results grid provides the duration of the trip as well as the expense to ship goods via donkey or wagon, as well as the expenses to passengers to travel along this route. Since the difference in cost between donkey and wagon only matters when land travel is a part of the route, this value will be the same for routes that have no land travel. Orbis is called a multimodal network because there are different modes of travel available. You can change particular types of travel by checking and unchecking the network mode options. For instance, if we uncheck coastal and open sea, then the cheapest route from Roma to Taliata is much different and significantly more expensive. You can also choose to restrict coastal sailing to daylight hours only, which will increase the time and expense of coastal routes, especially in the winter. The sea and river routes provide two settings apiece that change the cost of sea and river travel. The slower sea option uses a different ship model, while the military river option provides faster river travel. Both of these are explained in detail in the Building Orbis section. Speed of travel on land is modified based on the type of land travel you select. 
They'll notice that this can significantly change the values and paths of travel. Most striking is a horse relay, which provides a land speed value of 250 kilometers a day, which significantly reduces the time it takes to get from Rome to Taliata. There are also three different expense choices for cheapest routes. Select cheapest priority and you'll see them made available. If left unselected, then the default is grain delivered on land by a donkey. You can see how the difference in prices can affect routes by first clearing your routes and then selecting the cheapest path. From Rome to Heraclea. Choosing donkey camel as your price option. Now change your price option to passenger and carriage. Notice that the two different price options present different cheapest routes from Rome to Heraclea. Finally, each time you use Orbis to calculate a path, a route timeline will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. This timeline shows the sites passed on the trip you've generated as well as the modes of the network used by coloring each segment based on type. The day of the trip is provided at the top of the timeline so that we can pass Maritima on day 3 and then Portus Pacini on day 5 and so on. That's how you can use Orbis to simulate historical travel in the Roman world. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or encounter any problems.